Hey guys, Alan here. Today I want to talk about the clock of lock. Clock of lock, clock of lock. Try saying that 10 times fast. I so made this shit up right off the fly, man. Pretty cool, right? Um, so a couple of months back, I was talking about lock angle on blades, lock angle on uh, line lock, locking face, um, length of locks, uh, height of locks, lock thicknesses, you know, that whole geometry. And a friend of mine contacted me offline and asked me, is the location of the lock contact on the blade a big deal? And the answer is, yes, it is. Okay? Uh, it's a very big deal. All right? And so that's where this, this comes in play. Um, ideally, the, the best location for a liner lock, and I'm only talking about the liner locking mechanism is six o'clock right down below the pivot pin okay the worst position is three o'clock all right i haven't seen anybody put it at three o'clock yet okay i have seen them at four o'clock and there you know one guy contacted me why am i having so erratic lock uh uh engagements or the lock is sticky on some the lock is is easy on the other uh it, t it tends to slip off so I'm gonna tell you why. The closer you get to three o'clock, the weirder your lock becomes, all right? So imagine, here's the blade, okay? You put downward force on the back of the blade, what's gonna happen? It's gonna to wanna to rotate on the pivot, the hinge. So it's rotating in this direction, all right? And if you have a locking, your locking bar is right up at three o'clock, dude, you're at the horizon line of the pivot. All it's gonna do is kick it off or, or your locking bar is gonna jam up. It's gonna be, it's gonna be inconsistent. So the closer you are to the center, okay? Remember, force is coming down. Force is coming this way. It's rotating. It's rotating around this hub, okay? So as the force comes in, straight in this way, can you, can you understand if your locking bar was right down here, Ideal, but guess what? Finding a, a design that will allow you to have your locking bar directly at six o'clock below pivot, that's gonna be a weird looking knife. Okay, it's gonna be a weird looking locking bar. Okay, five o'clock is ideal. That's where most people put it. If you start creeping your locking bar and your lock connection of your blade above five, you're gonna start having some weird uh, actions, lock up, with your locking bar, okay? So you need to keep it down. The key thing with liner locks is from the center of your pivot to your engagement point of your lock and blade, you gotta get that thing as far apart as possible. You gotta get as far apart as possible and as low as possible, okay? Hope that helps out. Try saying clock of lock 10 times, all right? Catch you later.